So it's uh, 9.21 a.m. Oh, I made my mother's uh, breakfast and cleaned up upstairs and downstairs. I always do like a light cleaning just to freshen the air. Uh, um, you know, clean the floors. And that way it never gets bad. But if anybody should come over, you know, the house is always clean and it smells good. So, this one brother, he always, older brother, he always asks me for banana pudding and everything. I think I've made some for him like two or three times. So, I have bought a lot of bananas. And uh, when they get soft, that's when they're really good for banana pudding. So, I bought vanilla wafers and I'm going to make some for him and his wife today. God willing, God willing. So I, I like to make everything from scratch. So this is the banana pudding right here. So you can look at the consistency of it. And when you, uh, you can tell it's basically done. To thicken up. So. And this I made double the recipe, and the recipe the recipe calls for I think a half a cup of flour, uh, three and a half three and a half cups of uh, sugar. Oh, I can tell that when I stir it, how it's thickened. But it's basically done. I'm gonna strain it and uh, put it in uh, another bowl so I can add the vanilla flavor to it and the butter. Yeah, and see this can scorch very easily. You can see like where when I stir it out, but you you put the butter in and then the flavor lasts. But I'm gonna pour it over in a sh uh, strainer, and that will help it. See how it thickens up very quickly. Yeah, and I and I think if it was a better pot, because I was constantly stirring it, but I learned that when that happens, just strain it, and and uh, it didn't get a chance to get into the body of uh, of the pudding. But uh, yeah. So this is uh, the banana pudding. Uh, you know, I've already put like vanilla flavor in it and uh, always put like a little lemon and just a little coconut just a little bit to just put a spin on it but this is it, it smells delicious too I almost look like eggnog So these are the banana, bananas I had up front, and I said these I'll just save and uh, do the uh, banana pudding. So now I'm gonna pour some of the pudding. I'm just gonna. To me, I feel like the pudding really makes it. But uh, one sister, she says she really likes it when she can taste the cookies. My mother likes it like this. Uh, when, it, when it's not a whole lot of pudding.
I try to be very generous with the uh, vanilla wafers whenever I make them. That's why when I make do make them, uh, it's not, I really don't make any money off of them. So I just do it when I just feel like it uh, because he always asks me. So it's just like a gift. make some from your mother in one of these containers because I normally end up having a whole lot left over in the house so I'm just gonna make these two more small ones so on these I'm gonna experiment a, a little bit and see how it tastes with granolas added into it <laughs> So I got these, and now I can make, uh, I always forget what that's called. So I, I believe it's pr pronounced meringue, meringue, and that's with um, egg whites. So I made double the recipe, so it's uh 16 egg whites, and then I had to have a teaspoon cream of tartar, tart, yeah, tartar, and uh, what's that? One and one and one third cups of uh, sugar. I sure need to get my glasses. Cream of tartar. Yeah, so let me get started. And then you just beat this till it. So it has a what they call a, um, a pink, it's like a little stiff. Yeah. So the recipe does say um, to make the meringue in a large bowl, beat the egg whites and cream of tartar with a mixture with a mixer on high speed until soft peaks form. Gradually add the sugar, beating until stiff peaks form. Spoon the meringue over the pudding, spreading it right up to the edges of the pan. So I'm really going to go to the higher. And this probably will be for like around 10 minutes, 10 15 minutes. So <clears throat> this is ready now. I think it's kind of stiff enough. So we're gonna see. It's 11.22 and I just took it out the uh, oven. So and all it needs to do is brown a little bit. So I'm on my way to uh, drop off the banana pudding. And I made some like in uh, the little loaf pans too. One for my mother, one for myself so I could taste it. And it was really, really good. It was amazing. 
and I think because the bananas is really ripe so when you make the banana pudding they say let the bananas get really ripe and that's when they're very sweet so um it was very good you know because I I get somebody something I like for it to, I like to if I enjoy it then it's good <laughs> you know so I was so happy and he said how much I said whatever you want to pay because it's really like a gift you know because it's so expensive to make anything now you know especially when you're using eggs and all of that so I don't you know it's, it's really a gift because every time he sees me he asks for the banana pudding so I think this is maybe the third or fourth time that I've made it for him he and his wife so you know going to drop it off and I'm happy to do it for him it's probably I think the third or fourth time I've made it for him today is Sunday Lincoln Sister Judith your a banana pie pudding a banana pudding is absolutely a five star <laughs> so i hope i pray that it's good <laughs> it's always good <laughs> thank you and thank you my sister yes sir so like, um... may allah continue to bless you with success <laughs>